Hi everyone. My name is Roisin Faherty and together with my colleague Karen Nolan, we are going to present a short overview of a collaborative online microbit K-12 teacher PD workshop. Before we start, we have a quick poll for you to answer, answer and we'll have a look at the results at the end. So if you can just um, put in your poll vote there for us, thank you. So I'll start the lightning talk now. The CS Inc. Outreach Group is situated in TU Dublin Tala Campus. It is a volunteer-based organisation with three facets. The primary focus of CS Inc. is our computer science mobile outreach programme. Additionally, CS Inc. delivers teacher professional development sessions. The objective of this facet is to enable the teachers to, to develop and deliver computer science activities after the CS Inc. outreach team has visited the school. Finally, to iterate and improve the outreach, the CS Inc. team has a research component to investigate, improve, publish and share the work of the team. The CS Inc. team consists of four members for the outreach and teacher PD. There are, however, 10 members on the research side. This presentation describes the use of an online technology to deliver K-12 teacher professional development during the COVID-19 pandemic in Ireland. Traditionally, these sessions are delivered in person with a focus on hands-on activities, but the sudden changes faced by the COVID-19 closures in Ireland required an alternative approach. The PD session presented in this presentation was a more technically challenging microbit workshop, which was delivered online using the microbit classroom. This is typically used as an in-class one-to-many instructor tool and trialling this as a PD collaborative tool was a novel approach. CS Inc. have been delivering teacher PD for Irish post-primary computer science leaving certificate subject for the past three years and the BBC microbit is used across the leaving cert subject in computer science and it forms a core part of our computer science teacher professional development delivery. In March 2020, all schools and universities in Ireland were, for, Ireland were forced to close due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And CS Inc at the time had a number of upcoming teacher PD events planned, one of which was the micro, this microbit session that we're going to discuss today. And we adapted it to run online. This was a pilot study for two reasons. First, a pilot for online teacher collaboration PD and second, the pilot using the Microsoft, sorry, the Microbit classroom environment as a collaborative online PD tool. The Microbit classroom is a new tool that's in beta version that helps teachers and educators to easily manage students' Microbit programming work. The teacher can share their programming code and review the students' work live. So for our session, initially 36 teachers signed up with six participating on the day. The timing, which was within several days of a national lockdown, most likely impacted the attendance. First, the, participate, the participants all attended an online meeting and the sorting algorithm, which was bubble sort, was presented and discussed in detail. The teachers were then randomly divided into two groups of three with dedicated CS Inc members supporting each group. And the groups were then allocated 60 minutes to solve the sorting problem on the microbit, collaborating with each other using the microbit classroom. At the end, all participants then rejoined a single meeting with us and their solutions, as well as a sample solution as seen on the slide here, were discussed. CS Inc have developed pre and post PD surveys as part of a longitudinal study which was tweaked to take account of the new online session format. Generally, the online nature of the pilot session was welcomed for reasons that you can see on the current slide, such as no travel costs, being able to continue the teacher PD in spite of COVID-19, and the desire to become familiar with the online tools. Interestingly, the comments in relation to the collaboration were diverse. A positive reporting was that teachers experienced what the students might during an online collaborative session, and this may help them in their online class development. Some feedback did highlight the difficult learning curve for the online technologies used, as well as the inherent difficulties in collaboration online as opposed to face-to-face. -to -face. 
Thank you for listening to our talk tonight. And before we finish up, just to go to the poll that we, we conducted earlier. And we can see that many of you have heard of the Microbit Classroom and possibly even used it. And we hope that the novel approach used for this Microbit Classroom that we described in the talk tonight will encourage many of you to also experiment with this tool. And we're happy now to take any questions that you might have.